Once observations have been made in the field, we will proceed to analyze them with the TCP TunnelCAD application. To do this, we go to the project we were working on and we will proceed to add the points we measured in it. To do this, we select the project, the points option, and select the file of points that we have measured. Okay. From here, we go to the command Calculate Cross Sections. This dialog is configured with similar parameters to those used at the time of measuring the points. Starting and ending alignment stations to analyze the file, profile interval every 2 meters, tolerance or bandwidth to include the points in profile 0.5 meters, minimum distance between points 10 centimeters, minimum number of points 5 points. The rest of the parameters are to set how to generate the cross sections in a general way. Finally, it is necessary to save the result in a file cross-section.tri. Okay, the generated profile would already be there. Next, we draw the result using Draw Cross Sections. We also enter the interval that we want to draw and how to do it. For example, at scale 200, text size 20 centimeters, in paper space and individually, a profile for each sheet. We accept and a presentation is automatically created for each profile, labeling numerical information related to the project and that profile and graphic information for each of the points. For example, we are viewing project details, horizontal and vertical alignment data, as well as information on the overbreak and underbreak areas, or the total areas of the measured and theoretical section of each of the cross sections. In the graphic information, the measured points are represented with respect to the theoretical template, the point number, and their elevation. Likewise, we can edit the measured cross-sections if necessary through our profile editor. We could move through different profiles and through different points that we have measured and modify the information that we consider appropriate numerically or graphically.